Agra is a city in northern India's Uttar Pradesh state. It's home to the iconic Taj Mahal, a mausoleum built for the Mughal ruler Shah Jahan's wife, Mumtaz Mahal, who died in childbirth in 1631. The imposing main building features a massive dome and intricately carved white marble inlaid with precious stones. This is set behind a reflecting pool inside a courtyard defined by four minarets. Near the Taj Mahal are the 20m high red brick walls of Agra Fort, a grand Mughal fortress and palace, much of it dating to the 16th and 17th centuries. Across the Yamuna River is another striking tomb, Itima Durdola, which prefigures the Taj Mahal by a few years, earning it the nickname Baby Taj. West of the city is the remarkably well-preserved ghost city of Fatehapur Sikri, whose red sandstone royal apartments, harem quarters and pavilions date to the late 1500s, when it was briefly the capital of the Mughal Empire. Delhi, India's capital territory, is a massive metropolitan area in the country's north. In Old Delhi, a neighborhood dating to the 1600s, stands the imposing Mughal era red fort, a symbol of India, and the sprawling Jama Masjid Mosque, whose courtyard accommodates 25,000 people. Nearby is Chandani Chowk, a vibrant bazaar filled with food carts, sweets shops and spice stalls. The Rajpat, a formal boulevard in the New Delhi government district, connects the India Gate War Memorial and the massive presidential palace Rashtrapati Bhavan. Other significant sites include Lodi Gardens, a park featuring monumental tombs and acres of greenery, Mughal Emperor Humayun's tomb, a precursor of the Taj Mahal, Qutub Minar, a medieval brick minaret, and the flower-shaped Lotus Temple, a Baha'i house of worship. Delhi also has a strong nightclub scene as well as many prominent museums, including ones dedicated to Mahatma Gandhi and Jawaharlal Nehru, leaders of Indian independence. Jaipur is the capital of India's Rajasthan state. It evokes the royal family that once ruled the region and that, in 1727, founded what is now called the Old City or Pink City for its trademark building color. At the center of its stately street grid, notable in India, stands the opulent, colonnaded city palace complex. With gardens, courtyards and museums, part of it is still a royal residence. Across from the city palace is Jantar Mantar, an open-air astronomical observatory from the early 18th century. Also nearby is the Hava Mahal, Palace of the Vines, a former cloister for royal women fronted by a rippling five-story screen of pink sandstone. Several kilometers outside the city center, elephants carry visitors uphill to the imposing Amar Fort, which features elaborate wall carvings and paintings. On the way to the fort, many visitors stop on the banks of Mansagar Lake to photograph Jal Mahal a partially submerged palace that famously reflects in the water. Varanasi is a city in the northern Indian state of Uttar Pradesh dating to the 11th century BC regarded as the spiritual capital of India. The city draws Hindu pilgrims who bathe in the Ganges river's sacred waters and perform funeral rites. Along the city's winding streets are some 2,000 temples, including Kashi Vishwanath, the Golden Temple, dedicated to the Hindu god Shiva. Both cruises take visitors past the many ghats, steps leading down to the river, on the waterfront, including the Dashashwamid Ghat to watch the fiery Aarti ritual, performed nightly. Manekarneka Ghat is the principal cremation ground of Varanasi, with 24-hour flaming funeral piles. Another notable Ghat is Man Mandir Ghat, topped by a large palace built in 1600. Above the river, the Mughal-style Ramnagar Fort was the palace of the former Maharaja of Varanasi and is now a museum. About 11 kilometers north of town, Sarnath, where Buddha gave his first sermon at the site of Damak Stupa, 
features ancient temples. Mumbai, formerly called Bombay, is a densely populated city on India's west coast. A financial center, it's India's largest city. On the Mumbai Harbour waterfront stands the iconic Gateway of India Stone Arch, built by the British Raj in 1924. Offshore, nearby Ilipinta Island holds ancient cave temples dedicated to the Hindu god Shiva. The city is also famous as the heart of the Bollywood film industry. Landmark British colonial buildings include Chhatrapati Shivaj Terminus, an ornate train station melding Gothic revival and Mughal architecture. The castle I Bombay High Court features octagonal turrets. Immense Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Vastu Sangrahalaya is a museum displaying ethnographic and natural history collections. Chor Bazar is known for its antiques while Mangaldas market has textiles, and Zaveri Bazaar is filled with jewelry shops. Marine Drive terminates at popular Chopti Beach. On the city's outskirts in Sanjay Gandhi National Park is Kanheri, a cave system carved by Buddhists beginning in the 1st century BC. Goa is a state in western India with coastlines stretching along the Arabian Sea. Its long history as a Portuguese colony prior to 1961 is evident in its preserved 17th century churches and the area's tropical spice plantations. Goa is also known for its beaches, ranging from popular stretches at Baga and Palolim to those in laid-back fishing villages such as Agonda. Old Goa is home to the massive, Portuguese-style Se Cathedral and the Baroque Basilica of Bom Jesus, which holds the remains of the state's patron saint, Francis Xavier. In Panaji, the capital, the Latin Quarter's winding streets contain galleries, cafes and colonial-era Portuguese-style homes. For shopping, visitors flock to Anjuna's famous flea market and Mackey's seasonal night bazaar. On the coast, the Salim Ali Bird Sanctuary provides a look at a native mangrove ecosystem. Goa's interior features small villages, quiet retreats, waterfalls and jungle trails. Udaipur, formerly the capital of the Mewar Kingdom, is a city in the western Indian state of Rajasthan. Founded by Marana Udaipur in 1559, it's set around a series of artificial lakes and is known for its lavish royal residences. City Palace, overlooking Lake Pichala, is a monumental complex of 11 palaces, courtyards and gardens, famed for its intricate peacock mosaics. Lake Pichala boat tours take visitors past the 18th century, White Marble Lake Palace, which covers an entire island and is now a hotel. Another island contains the domed Jagmandi Palace former summer resort of the Maharanas, mostly constructed in the 17th century. Elsewhere, in Udaipur's sprawling old city, is towering Jagdish Temple, completed in 1651 and dedicated to the Hindu god Vishnu. The Bharatiya Lok Kala Museum of Regional Folk Art is known for its traditional puppet shows while the hilltop monsoon palace offers sweeping views of the city and the surrounding ridges. Manali is a high-altitude Himalayan resort town in India's northern Himachal Pradesh state. It has a reputation as a backpacking center and honeymoon destination. Set on the Beas River, it's a gateway for skiing in the Solang Valley and trekking in Parvati Valley. 
it's also a jumping off point for paragliding, rafting and mountaineering in the Pir Panjal Mountains, home to 4000 m high Rohatang Pass. The mall road and its bazaar are the town's focal point, while the old Manali neighborhood is home to traditional stone buildings, apple orchards and the Hindu Mano Temple. Across the Manaslu River on a forested hilltop is wood carved Harimba Devi Temple, built in 1553 and dedicated to a Hindu goddess. The Museum of Himachal Culture and Folk Art preserves local crafts and heritage. In the Tibetan Quarter, the Buddhist monastery Gyadhan Threkchakling is recognizable by its yellow, pagoda-style roof. East of the Beas River is Vashisht, a village known for its hot springs. Hyderabad is the capital of southern India's Telangana state. A major center for the technology industry, it's home to many upscale restaurants and shops. Its historic sites include Golconda Fort, a former diamond trading center that was once the Qutub Shahi dynastic capital. The Charminar, a 16th century mosque whose four arches support towering minarets is an old city landmark near the long-standing Lar Bazaar. On the Mushli River's south bank, the Salar Jung Museum has an enormous, wide-ranging collection of global art covering several millennia. Chaumrahala Palace, built by the Nizams, Hyderabad's princely rulers from the 18th to mid-20th centuries, is an opulent complex featuring courtyards and fountains. North of the river, the contemporary, white marble Hindu temple Birla Mandir occupies a hilltop with views over Hussain Sagar Lake, known for its 18 meters Buddha statue. On the outskirts, Ramoji Film City is a sprawling movie production center featuring studio tours and a theme park. 